what is magic? Put simply, magic is having conscious control over the subconscious mind. So whenever you change your view of the world, your view of yourself, every time you shed a limiting belief, change your belief in really anything, that's magic. But wait, I hear you ask, isn't that just personal development? That's the fun part. Yes, it is. Magic is, in my opinion, the original personal development. So all these like personal development bros on YouTube, guiding people towards starting businesses and making lots of money. That's great. I'm all for that. They just don't call it magic and that's fine. They don't have to, but same, same. We have been taught in this modern world that magic doesn't exist. Science and religion are mortal enemies, but that's not true. In fact, if you look carefully, science is starting to catch up to the mystical. A really obvious example of this is look into Dr. Joe Dispenza, who's marrying the mystical with scientific research, and it's beautiful to see. But even outside of that, like let's look at the popularization of the simulation theory. Apparently, statistically speaking, it is almost certain that we live in a computer simulation. They're close. They're, they're almost there. They're just missing one little piece. It's not a computer simulation. It's not zeros and ones. It's a spiritual simulation. So having conscious control over the subconscious mind. Let's look at traditional magical practices, spells, rituals. I'm going to lump religion in with this because it's, it's the same thing. Religion and magic are really two words for the same thing or two methods to achieve the same goal. Depending what you read, for example, Law of One makes a distinction between magic and religion. Religion is the magic of belief and magic is the magic of the mind. It's, uh, it's more conscious and less emotional. So when you're casting a spell or performing a ritual or praying to literally whoever you want, to use the language of the gross material physical world, you're brainwashing yourself. And that's got some negative connotations to it, but that's really not bad at all because if we stray into the personal development space for a moment, isn't that what it's all about anyway? brainwashing yourself to believe that you can be successful. And that is part of the reason why I think it can be difficult to find specific instruction when it comes to magic. I'm sure you've come across this yourself if you've done any research prior to watching this video. You may have looked up, how do I cast a spell? How do I cast a specific spell? That's the thing. It entirely depends on what you need to believe that what you want can come to pass. If you've been watching my shorts, you've probably come across me saying that if you believe it works, then it works. That's it. And that's also what makes it tricky. I can give you tips. I can tell you what I've done. I can give you basic principles of how our mind body spirit complex works. And you can have that knowledge. You can even share the knowledge, teach someone else how to do it. But until you integrate it, internalize it and fully feel it, understand it, it's difficult to use. There's definitely going to be some people who are wondering, and I've wondered myself, is it possible to cast overt, obvious spells? Like, let's, let's use a silly example. 
casting a fireball. <laughs> is that possible? I believe it is. However, because we live in this very restricted physical modern world, hello, thank you, it makes it very difficult to believe that we can do that. I'm going to use a money example, even though I don't like talking about money because it's not important, but it's just really easy to use for examples. Most people in this day and age will never be rich because they just don't believe that they ever could be. They either have a very negative view of rich people, whether that's warranted or not, doesn't matter. Judgment is unnecessary. If you believe that rich people are evil, then you believe that you have to become evil in order to become rich. And thus, because you don't want to be evil, I'm sure, you will not be rich. So you have to shed that belief. That's magic. So similarly, you may want to cast a fireball, but deep down, you believe that it's not possible. I think very few people truly have the capacity to believe right now that it is possible to do something that extreme. I certainly don't have that belief. One day, maybe I will, I hope to, that's my goal. I don't know if I'll make it in this lifetime, but that would be fun. You also have to ask yourself, why do you want to cast a fireball? It's like, why do you want money? It's why money is so difficult to manifest. It's a means to an end. What do you plan to do with that overt piece of magic? Do you want to destroy something? Do you want to impress someone? There's easier ways to do both of those things. I'm going to finish up by giving you two examples and then my current method for practicing magic. So firstly, I find myself able to manifest clients really easily because I don't care about the outcome. So whenever there's a gap in my schedule, I see the gap, it doesn't affect me because I know deep down the gap will fill. And I promise you every single time the gap fills within a day. It's, it's quite remarkable. It happens with such consistency that it's, it's remarkable. Secondly, I used to make music and release it on Spotify. I still might return to that in the future, but that doesn't matter. I found that some of the songs that I used to release would come true. Not all of them, but some of them, the ones that were really important to me would actually come true. And I think the reason for that is multifaceted. Music has a great capacity for impressing our subconscious. Music is, is a very basic, I'm not sure if I would call it human need, but it is, is fundamental. Every culture has created music. That's wild to think about. So music is important to us. Music is powerful. And also those songs were very important to me. I, I poured my heart into them. And what came to pass wasn't, it was bittersweet because the songs weren't happy, <laughs> but they still came true. But then you have to wonder, did my songs create my reality or did they predict my reality? <laughs> Fun to think about, I'm not sure. Okay, let's finish up with how I currently practice magic. I'm not much of a, a ritual guy. I do a lot of meditation, a lot of shadow work, and oddly enough, as lame as it may sound, just a lot of thinking. And sometimes that's all you need to do. So what I'm focusing on at the moment is building my self image. I have found that I have a lot of limiting beliefs that cause me to look at what I want and go, I'm not the kind of person who has that. So I'm working on overcoming that. I'm building an image of myself that is powerful and gets the things that he wants. And that's, I believe, a very worthwhile practice just in general. It's something that you can do just throughout the day whenever you have a spare, even 10 seconds. Just picture yourself as your ideal self. 
know what you want and then create the version of you that has those things. When I'm meditating, I focus very heavily on letting go. So I picture my conscious mind as the cup bearer holding the subconscious mind and catching the infinite possibility coming down from the spirit. That's how I see the mind and it works pretty well for me. Letting go, surrendering, not trying to control the whole process all the way to the end is I believe very important and very beneficial in the long run. I want to leave you with one final thought. Let's talk about the current trend of personal development. I think it's great. I think it is humanity taking a step in the right direction. However, the scope, the ambition of a lot of people is very small. And I'm not casting judgment on it. Like I said, it's a great step in the right direction, I believe. A lot of it is focused on making your personal life better. And that's fine because you have to be healthy and safe before you can help others. I'm just musing here. But instead of focusing on building confidence, starting a business, making lots of money, what if instead we set our sights higher? What if we work towards creating a group of open-minded, conscious creators? Not working towards wealth, acquisition of, of physical illusions, which is what all this is, but instead working towards spreading love, acceptance, they're the same thing. And showing the world that fear is not necessary.